guys, welcome back to another Little Geek Reviews. This time we're going to go through the Tales of Greyskull Hordach. Now on the front of the actual blister, it has got the Ruthless Master of the Use Pit. And it's got the Skeletor and also Shredder now at the top of this. On the back, it's got him here fighting with Shredder. And there's a little snippet underneath. While that peon Skeletor. <laughs> what does peon mean? <laughs> oh, peon. <laughs> While that peon Skeletor pouted over He Man, Hordak plotted from afar. He gained a valuable new minion in Shredder and used him to infiltrate Snake Mountain. While the time is right, Hordak will strike and all of Eternia will be his. So it's got that little cross cell there. Fit Ooze Blast into Cannon. Okay. And then all the other figures that came in out with this wave with April, Stealth, Ninja, Leo and He-Man as well. So let's crack this guy open. Have a little closer look. I'm breaking them out. We have got them in that classic blue. Straight from the cartoon collection. New. Oh. New head mould on this guy as well. We'll have to have a little closer look at that when we talk about like the modular pieces. But this hood is bendy. I don't I think it's separate from his head. So he comes with the ooze cannon now stuck to his arm there. Now, is that that's all one moulded piece, but it's got like a little hose attached to a little cuff on the top of his arm where that can slip up and down as well. He's on the back of his armours. He has got the two Peggies there, so for the wings that he comes with. Uh, but he's got that big Hordak logo on the front. He's got a little, like two, like, waist belt, is it? And I can't really make out. I think it's just got a little skull in the middle of it. But he's got the big silver hard boots going on as well so but the articulation his head does twist bobbles up and down he would do a 360 with his arms but this armor piece does restrict it but it does splay out he's got the elbow joints on this one he's got a wrist pivot as well which turns 360 on the waist splay out with the legs go back and forth Bend at the knee, twist at the boot cuff, and again pivot on the actual foot. Everything that we love with the Origins type of figures. So, with the Ooze Cannon, he's got a little peggy hole because he comes with a big blob of ooze. And it's just pegs in at the front. I'm loving the detail on this cannon though. It is well cool. But I suppose it's the same as like the mouse jaw peg holes and maybe Metal Botto, Roboto even, Trap Jaw, the original Trap Jaw. So if we just remove this little blast cannon, let's get Mouse Jaw's little gun piece. Let's see if that, yeah, they fit in as well. So there's going to be a lot of swip swaps I suppose that you could do but we'll peg that back in for the moment now with the little peggies that we've seen with like the tails with the half shells and stuff he comes with these big bat type of wings mechanical wings if you come in two pieces with a little dial quite detailed and it's like got the cuttings 
so you can see th right through so it's kind of weathered battle damaged as well so one little peggy hole it's got like a little claw on the tip of it so let's bend them round slot them in proper big wingspan but they can flip up come straight down fold away even and the base of the wings just come to the base of his foot so I've just got one of them little necker stands I'm tending to use these more and more with the figures actually to just keep them sturdy when on display there'd be nothing worse than placing one of the last ones and then the whole lot topple down so but with it being modular with these origins so let's see with this head and this flexi piece so there you go it is separate that hood is really soft rubber but the actual detail on his face I love that blue stripe going on there and his beady eyes that snarly little grin so you could even have him without the hood as well that looks proper menacing doesn't it but the let's see with the arms so yeah everything pops off like we know it would be so this little waistband does is separate so it'll pop off with the up the hands will, well the hand will pop off so and then obviously the boot cuff will pop off as well I've just made up that he's come in the blue because I remember the one of the original Hordax, it was like a Mattel Creations SDCC type of release, I think, where it was with Grizzlord and stuff, that he was originally blue, and then I don't think he ever come out single card at blue, but until the cartoon collection, he will be coming out with the blue as well. I did make up a Hordax because I didn't originally get them in the first place I got a, uh, I got like bits and bobs as you can with this so I think I got like a web store I got the buzzsaw Hordak and just swip swapped a few parts just to make them that blue colour there and now I just want to try take this head off and pop this one on so and there he is with that type of style like I say he's on the uh, the buzzsaw hordach with this floppy gown piece I think that's a <laughs> that looks really good I just wanna I'd f maybe file these web store pieces down so throw them little knobbly bits on there there you go guys there is the Turtles of Grey Skull Hordach let me know your thoughts on this guy in the line what do you think of it drop those comments in the box while you're there do the usual with the like subscribe tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but thanks for checking in on this one and I will catch you on the next take care